Hello guys, really quick uh, lesson on uh, Linux bridging tonight. This will be very helpful for all of you who want to know more about uh, Linux network features and especially for those of you who want to mess around with virtual infrastructures and uh, virtual networking. Um, there will be more lessons uh, related to this topic, but um, let's start with this uh, simple bridge. So uh, let's get started. First of all, uh, let me try and uh, draw for you a quick diagram of uh, what I'm trying to, to build together with you. So um, we will create a switch or a bridge called BR0 and we will uh, bridge to two ports basically so I will have this port VTH1 I will be using a virtual Ethernet interface for this demo you will see why VTH2 I'm using uh, virtual Ethernet interfaces because um, this way I'm able to put the peer of these interfaces in a different namespace like this so let's say the peer for this one is VTH underscore one and the peer for this one is VTH underscore two. And let me put it like this. So we know they are in different namespaces. So this is namespace called NS1. And this one right here is a namespace called NS2 and this one in the middle is the default namespace all right let's also assign uh, ip addresses to these peer interfaces 192.168.10.2/24 and the other one right here 192.168.10.1/24. So that's pretty much all the uh, infrastructure that I want to build uh, for you. I will come back to this uh, if I need to. So um, let's open up a console. Let's make this a little bigger I think this is enough all right so um, before I proceed uh, what are the tools uh, that I need to to work with in order to configure or the tools I can work with in order to configure bridge um, let's go to, to a different page uh, so um, Basically, I can use uh, IP route two, which has uh, more components to it. But um, I will be using extensively IP link, and I can also use a command called bridge. Sorry, which is also part of IP route. Um, Traditionally, for uh, for bridge configuration, uh, we um, were using the tools from the package called Bridge Utils. Something, uh, sorry, I forgot an E here. Um, there was a command called, uh, I think, Bridge Control, like this, and some other things maybe, but I will only use uh, these ones for the tonight's demonstration so let's start by um, creating a bridge let me go to super user 
and let's create a bridge. I will be using IP link. Let's display the links before I'm doing anything else. Um, I will be using this flag for coloring to have a nicer display and uh, also for brief. So link show. So I only have uh, the loopback and this uh, Ethernet interface. Now I will be creating the bridge. Name bridge zero type bridge. I can continue here with some other options for the bridge, but I'm not going to. I just uh, create the bridge. So uh, let's see the bridge. If I skip this brief flag, it will show me more details about the bridge but I can display even more details if I am adding the flag D from details. So you can see lots of details here and the useful ones too. The spanning tree state is not uh, active. The bridge priority, very, very important if you want to, to use VLANs, uh, you will need this, uh, this attribute, VLAN filtering, the VLAN protocol also, the, the encapsulation protocol. And some other some other things like uh, I don't know uh, spanning tree timers and things like this. So our bridge is created. Let's now create the virtual Ethernet interfaces. As I told you, the virtual uh, I'm using virtual Ethernet because I can place the peer in a different namespace. Let's create those interfaces. IP link add main vth1 type virtual Ethernet and uh, the peer is called vth underscore one. Let's create the other one, name vth one. Let's make this even bigger. Type virtual ethernet peer vth underscore, sorry, this one should be vth two. All right, IP, let's display those. All right, so, as you can see, I have two virtual Ethernet pairs. So um, what I should do now is um, move this underscore, these underscore interfaces in their namespace. I don't have uh, any namespace created right now. So let's create, let's first create the namespaces. IP network namespace at NS1, IP network namespace add ns2 let's display this ip list i have them now let's put the interfaces in their specific namespace ip link set uh, vth underscore one i'll be putting this in network namespace ns1 let's uh, check this IP if I'm using uh, I can use I can do this uh, I can operate in a specific namespace uh, in multiple ways I will show you two variants IP minus n the net the network namespace name and then the, the command specifics let's uh, say I want to display the links I can also use my regular C minus brief flags. So um, this is one way I can operate in that in this namespace. Another way is, is to use uh, the command IP network namespace exec. And whatever I type after this, it will be executed in the Actually, I need to specify the network namespace name, and what I am typing after this, it will be executed in, in the executed in the context of network namespace one. So if I'm doing the same IP minus brief minus C link show, I get uh, the same results. So what I was trying to do here is uh, bring this up and assign and assign an IP. I think this variant with the minus 10 flag is easier link set dev vth1 up ip minus n also in the namespace one i'm uh, adding an address 
add 192.168.10.1 slash 24 device vth1 so let's display those right now ip minus ns1 minus brief minus color address show all right i have the ip address low layer down i don't care about that right now the the peer interface in the default namespace is down this is why it's telling me this let's uh, configure this for uh, the other namespace also ns2 here i don't have any interface first let me put the vth underscore to interface in this context ip link set dev uh, vth underscore 2 enter namespace ns2 ip minus n ns2 minus c minus brief link show i have it right here right here let me bring it up and assign an ip address ip minus n ns2 link set dev vth underscore 2 now should it should be up let's assign the ip address um ns2 address add 192.168.10.2 slash 24 device vth2 uh, underscore 2 let's display this and ns2 minus brief minus color address show so again this should be correct until uh, now so um let me see about the bridge again in the default namespace ip link show type bridge what i um, need to do now is um, assign the interfaces from the default namespace to this bridge so in order to do that I um, I will do it like this IP link set device uh, VTH1 I want to set the master of this to be bridge 0 and also for the other one set device VTH2 master bridge 0 right so <clears throat> Uh, before uh, going further, also let me bring up these interfaces. IP link set, sorry, link set the VTH1 up. IP link set the VTH2 up. Let's display this. IP minus brief minus C link show. Let's display all the links. So my bridge is, uh, is down but uh, these interfaces are up let me also bring up the bridge ip link set dev bridge zero up let's display again so the bridge is up the interfaces are up now we should be good to ping from one um, one namespace to the other so i will be using uh, ip network namespace exec ns1 ping 192.168.10.2 because I want to ping the, the interface in the other uh, right so it seems to be working this is what I wanted to show you real quick there are uh, more things to discuss uh, with regards to bridging uh, about STP and very important about VLAN filtering I will be doing um, uh, demos on uh, these other topics also but uh, for now this is uh, all uh, hope uh, this is somehow helpful and uh, um, let's uh, I, I will be waiting for you in the other in the other lessons bye bye